being trans has held me back from uh, going into a, a career as an actor to begin with because I felt I couldn't personally at school pursue it because I um, was female at school and I didn't want to play the roles and I I personally didn't know who I was so I couldn't possibly play somebody else. Being trans has always been a bit of a sort of barrier for getting into acting. In fact, before I started doing this course, I, it was never really, I'd always kind of crossed it out, just crossed it off my list of, of things. Because I, I love drama and pretty much everything I do is drama related. But very early on, I was just like, well, there's just no way that you can, you can be trans and act. In the after starting to go to these workshops, I've actually thought about getting back into performing and going to auditions and, and things like that. My favourite moment really has been the last exercise today. Um, six weeks ago there was no way I could have done that. I wouldn't have the confidence or the ability to work with other people or to interpret the text. So it's just been a fantastic opportunity and I've been very happy to be involved with Jones Acting. Well, it was quite fun uh, pretending to be Hermia from Midsummer Night's Dream. One thing that really stood out for me in the course is the fact that I've learnt a lot about myself in terms of how I come across to people and in terms of acting and being able to use my voice. I've also learned about movement, you know, because people think that when you are an actress or you are acting, you're just using your voice or you're just memorising lines. It's also about movement. It's also about delivery. I was a successful model before and um, this is the first time that I'm actually properly embarking on a career in acting or in show business. But my main goal is to act, but my ultimate main goal is to be a stand-up comedian. I explain... Emotions? I, I feel feelings. But physical? Not pain, no. And why not? Because there's no, no signal. Um, I really enjoyed the voice at workshop. And it all really good to learn more about how I project my voice. I'm not listening. She does it. Have you seen her? Yes, I've seen her, but she does it. Have you talked to her? I didn't want to. Then what do you He's grown in confidence. Good on there. At the end of showing my inner life to the uh, camera close up, I just went, <laughs> that was intense. A soldier then would notice and it would really hurt. But Probably. why? What, what is that? Well, it's just pain. But what is it? Oh, have you ever been unhappy? I think my favourite moment was just after the voice workshop and I was in a group of six and we came out and we were all just felt fantastic. We could have done anything. I mean, we still can do anything, but there was this moment we all came out and we were just saying, wow, wow, because the teacher just made us feel brilliant. We all felt really um, like we actually had voices we could use. I think the voice workshop was incredibly useful, just learning different techniques in terms of how to shape your voice and how to feel more connected to it. I think that's something that's really helpful. Okay, I think the best thing has been obviously learning techniques that I never would have got a chance to have learned if I hadn't attended this course. Some fantastic tutors, but most of all, just meeting some other great actors um, and a network of people which I never would have ever met in real life without this course, so fantastic. I'm excited. I'm excited. Favourite moment was this afternoon um, running some of Viola's not lines from Twelfth Night. Edmund's whole life, his whole life, has been told that he's illegitimate. He does not matter. I don't really have a favourite moment, but just seeing everyone, um, all these trans actors, um, really encouraged me to possibly pursue acting in the future because I wasn't really so confident before. It was embarrassing because whichever I don't want you to know. Thou nature art my goddess. To thy law my services are.
I have to say that my absolutely favourite moment was today when, when I was able to do Shakespeare for the first time ever without feeling like a complete idiot. One of my favourite moments when, was when we looked at Stanislavski's um, centres of attention. Seven levels of tension!